Hi, and welcome back. There are so many medications um, that when you're sick, you take. There are a lot that are just pretty basic, like prednisone, Celsep, um, the, the, the general ones. And there's some unusual ones that I've tried um, that I've also kind of been asked to try um, as an experimental uh, type basis. I went in October of last year, so that would be, um, well, not last year, uh, 2018, October of 2017, I was invited to the NIH, which is the National Institutes of Health, and the calcinosis that I have is so rare. Uh, basically, the NIH takes very just unusual, really strange diseases. And they will invite you there. It's kind of an invitation only. And uh, they will study you and put you through a bunch of tests. They really don't give you um, a diagnosis, so to say, or even a treatment of what you have, or even what they suggest um, you would do. It's more you're kind of going there on the community's behalf. You're kind of letting yourself say, I'm here to be experimented on so much so to say. So anyways, I went there and um, I had, um, they removed like a little mole because they wanted to see if the moles I was getting um, were cancerous um, and they were worried about me healing fast. So they gave me some thio, let me make sure I say it right, some thio, sodium thiosulfate cream to put on um, the place where they removed the mole. And it, it was supposed to really make you heal faster because of the prednisone. When you take prednisone, you get your skin gets thin, you don't heal as fast. It's just not a good drug. So anyways, they gave me this and um, I brought it home. And I said, you know, I'm gonna try it because I had read a study that was done where they actually were taking this sodium thiosulfate as a, it comes like a crystal form. They were taking it and mixing it um, with a saline solution and they were actually injecting it into or around the calcium deposits and they were going away. So I thought, hey, maybe it would work, um, you know, transdermally if I were to put it on some of the calcium and it would go away. So I brought it home from the NIH and I had one on my wrist, it's gone now, that was really bad. It looked like almost, you know, I have a little knob it was kind of right here and it almost looked like a second knob. So I started putting it on there in a month, it was gone. And I'm going like, oh my gosh, this stuff actually works. So then I went to my doctor here in Seattle and I said, you know what? I need some more of this sodium thiosulfate. Hard to pronounce, tongue twister. So anyways, he said, it's not something that you can buy over the counter. And it's not something they make, you'll have to go to a compound pharmacy to get it. And basically what a compound pharmacy does is they'll take um, a drug that your doctor prescribes and they will mix it for you. So they're like a mixing pharmacy and they're kind of hard to find because not every pharmacy is an actual compound pharmacy. So I came back with the first version of this and it was in a cream and it was made with um, kind of like that baby cream that you put in for a diaper rash. It's like white. <clears throat> I don't know if you can kind of see it. It's kind of like um, an actual just baby rash cream. So what you would do um, is you take a little bit on your, your, your forefinger, what have you. And then um, you can kind of say I have the calcium pretty bad on my hand right there. So you would take it and you would just rub it in there. Um, just like that. So you have like that. The only thing with this though is I'm going great. <laughs> if I go out in public, I got all these dang little white spots all over my body and that looks even probably more weird than having bumps all over your entire body. So I go to the doctor and I says, you know, this stuff's great, um, but it's kind of, it's oily and it doesn't come off and it leaves you with white all over. So then he prescribed another one, which is the sodium thiosulfate, which is in like a pump um, type of cream. So this one um, comes in a pump. Um, you squeeze, let's do it. You squeeze a little bit out. So it comes like that, 
just on your thumb. It looks kind of like um, just a lotion, but it has 10% um, sodium thiosulfate mixed with it. So then, of course, you would take it, and in the area that you want to try to do, you would just rub it in, and it pretty much disappears. It might be a little bit um, oily. I mean, kind of see it. Again, my shoulders are all trashed out, so I can't lift my shoulders up that much. So you would just kind of rub it in, um, kind of like that. Um, so you just kind of look like that. Might look kind of a little glisteny a little bit. Um, and it does kind of, it has a weird odor, but you know, I'm to the point where this um, calcium is getting quite a bit worse and nothing has worked. Um, it was really strange because it did work on this one. It took it away in about a month. I've been applying it to these two um, just to kind of see if anything will happen. And so far it hasn't. Um, I've actually applied it. I have some on my face. So I've applied it to my nose and my forehead to try to see if those would help. And my wife says that she thinks uh, that she notices that it's kind of um, going away, but it's nothing so dramatic that um, it goes away. So I don't know if this one was a fluke and it just went away in a, a month. I've never had any um, that have just disappeared. Uh, the calcium takes kind of different forms. Some are hard, some are squishy. Um, some actually get really infected and I'm hoping, not that I'm hoping, but I'm hoping that um, I get one and then I can um, kind of document it as it gets worse. And then those, actually it's kind of like a, a boil or a pimple, kind of sound gross. I know there's a new pimple popper um, show on, uh, but those actually have to kind of come out. So hopefully, um, I'll have one of those and we can document one of those. Anyways, so um, if you have any questions or comments or if you've used um, sodium thiosulfate and you've had good luck with it, please comment below because I'd like to hear it. I'm sure others uh, would all like to hear this because we're all in this together and trying to help each other out. So anyways, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Bye.